Today we are in the kitchen. Cooking up some delicious portraits. Yummy! Okay guys, picture this. You're in the kitchen and someone is like, Hey, I need a new Facebook profile picture. Can you take a portrait? What do you do? Well, you take a portrait picture, right? <laughs> but what do you get there? No problem. Do you know that the kitchen is a treasure trove of lighting accessories? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, today we're gonna do portraits with only the kitchen essentials. Aluminum foil, baking paper, cutlery, glassware. It's all there to make your photos interesting. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. okay, so Jan, the first one was you as a model and I used the tin foil as a backdrop and... Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really interested in seeing that. Like I've, I, I know the concept, but I actually never, ne never tried it myself. Hold your horses. Okay, I'll... The first one, I did it without any reflector and I think the lighting was okay, but it was pretty flat okay. on his face. Do I get to see though? Here you go. But that is already really good. Yeah, the background looks nice, but... You would have no idea where that picture's taken. Yeah, it could be like a waterfall or whatever. Yeah. Lights. Okay, but so what I like is you put the another piece of tinfoil, like somewhere where the sun was hitting on the floor. Yeah. It would kind of like create a really yeah. old, old school kind of a spotlight on my face. Yeah, so I l used it as a, like a reflector yeah. to bounce the light from the, from the floor to your face. Okay, I want to see how that looked, because so, I imagine that would bring it up quite a bit more contrast, right? Yeah, there is a lot of contrast on your face and the other, other side is more lit, so instantly it looks much Oh wow, that's interesting. Classy. Yeah, pretty cheap and pretty good looking. Yeah, considering aluminum foil only, the cost of this whole photo was like 50 cents. Yeah. Not bad, so. Pretty good. Cheaper than going to a studio. Yeah, how about you? Okay, your, all right. Your photo of so, me. you have my friend the bluest eyes. Uh, so you saw the blue cup, cup I had? Mm -hmm. Now what I did is I wanted to cho choose that to create this kind of underwater thing because Jonas's eyes really fit that kind of thing and to really make them pop. So I did these photos. Oh wow, my eyes look actually beautiful. They do. <laughs> and that's all just the natural color uh, from the eyes plus uh, the blue filter. <laughs> so the, <laughs> so the blue glass that I used. Yeah. Super simple, kind of gives you this, uh, he could be underwater, he could be in a in an Antarctic research facility doing something, you know, it's, if you, if you didn't know where it was taken, you could really, really let everything fly. Mm -hmm, so it's, mm -hmm. uh, love it. All right. Me too. Thank you. All right. Your turn. So the third one was the parchment paper or the baking paper. Mm, okay. And first we started shooting you in the direct light. Yeah. You can see it on Janne's face. He's struggling to keep his <laughs> eyes open. It's a really high, high contrast light, as you can see here. Yeah. That's super rough. It yeah. doesn't look that no. good. But then we introduced the parchment paper and the light is so much more beautiful. It's really natural, even looking wow. softbox good light. And the key here was you brought it really close, right? Yeah. yeah. And by bringing it really close, it's like a big source of light. Yeah. But it's not too big. That's what I like about it. You still get this fall off. And the, yeah. Yeah. And then we did some experimental stuff. We cut a hole like in the one. paper and you could really get creative with this one. And that was, this was all within like a minute, like a span of a minute. Yes. These four photos, yeah. like two, or max two, three minutes. Yes. Like I said, it's the world's cheapest I I'm probably most box. versatile. Yeah. yeah. That's where I have face paint on. You'd never know. Yeah. That's amazing. Good job, my friend. Thank you. How about your last one? Ah, so this was the one I was most looking forward to. I've always wanted to try this trick. Classic, you know, a priest in a confessional box mm -hmm. thing where you have light coming through. Okay, I'm in a confession booth. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, it, it does really look like that, right? It's pretty yeah. deep. But this it's is really similar nice. to the blue one that we did. So I was like, okay, we need to change it up. Mm. So change the angle. Change the angle. Mm. Because I couldn't change the angle of light, I changed the angle of yours. And what happened is I was able to get these shots. What do you think? Okay. Wow. It's really beautiful. 
Now, now the key here was actually changing your angle. So the sun is kind of coming from up here. Yeah. And then getting the seed far enough so it softens it and it breaks yeah, down yeah, the yeah. structure and you don't really know what it is. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You have a new kitchen profile picture, as do I. <laughs> yeah. On that note, it's time to sign off. We want to see your pictures. And until next time, bye-bye like American Pie. <laughs>